Hi, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I have just created a new uh, computer. It's an i7 uh, and I'm going to make a Hackintosh out of it. So let me show you the parts and the computer. First is the i7 processor. Let me zoom in a bit. As you can see, I took the i7 2006K version and because K is unlocked, we can do overclocking with the same. I'll explain you why I took uh, the K version. Initially, I didn't want that. And next, we have the motherboard. As I wanted to make a Hackintosh, I went for the Gigabyte board because these uh, boards are really easy to work with the Hackintosh. With other motherboards, uh, making a Hackintosh is a hit or a miss. But with Gigaboards, it's relatively, uh, I won't say really easy, but it's compatible. Next, we have the two sticks of RAM, 4 GB each, a total of 8, 8 GB. It's DDR3 133 MHz, nothing exotic. I also purchased a Windows 7 uh, Home Basic just in case uh, so that uh, if uh, when uh, we require some demos about Windows 7 we can do that. And uh, for the graphic card I am using an old graphic card that's a uh, NVIDIA GT240 and uh, I am using a Sony DVD uh, writer. Basically a Sony or a Pioneer based DVD ROM is compatible with most Hackintoshes so I opted with the Sony that was available. Actually I wanted to talk about this motherboard. Actually I did not want to go with this Z68 chipset. Actually I wanted to go with the H67 chipset but sadly it was not in ready stocks and I want to make the system urgently over the weekend. So I opted for this board. This was not my first choice. But again, as this was available and this also can make a Hackintosh, I went with this board. That's it for the hardware. Let's look at the system itself. And this is the actual system, nothing exotic. It's in an Antec case. On the front, there's nothing but just a CD-ROM drive. Let me take you back to the sides. Now let me take out the side of the motherboard. Sorry for the shaky camera, I can't use a tripod. Let me show you the cabinet and internals bit messy at the bottom we have an Antec uh, 550 watts true power SMPS we also have one fan blowing here to keep the SMPS glow clean nothing over here uh, moving up uh, I have one terabyte of hard drive there's a new drive that I bought beneath that is an old 80 GB hard drive I use that for cloning the system etc and uh, over here we have the GT240 graphic card. Zoom in. Yeah, this is the card. And this is the actual i7 processor over here. And we have one 120mm fan that uh, takes out the hot air. And there's one more fan. Actually, I'll just go to the top of the case. There's one more fan over here. So the case is relatively keeping the system pretty cool. And here we have the two 8GB RAM. Now let me show you the uh, let me go over to the system now. Okay, this is my new Mac uh, that's running on the i7. Let's first go to the about this Mac. And as you can see, it's running the latest version of Snow Leopard. That's 10.6.8. And it's at 3.4 gigahertz Intel Core i7. And the memory, that's 8 GB. Let us go to more info. I have configured this Mac as a Mac Pro and it shows all the details of that. It's basically one processor and uh, i7 has four cores as uh, this is an i7 it is uh, it has hyper threading enabled so uh, the C, uh, the operating system sees it as eight cores so you can see all the eight cores over here and i also have this software i stats one second that shows all the eight cores this eight cores uh, are really helping in video encoding and uh, the screen flow software that i'm using it really helps in that Moving towards the benchmark, I have done the Geekbench and this is uh, what we got. Uh, I got a score of 11,233. It's averaging between this and 11,500. Uh, do notice this is not overclocked and I'm running it at a stock frequency of 3.4. As this is a K processor, it can be overclocked and easily we can touch about 13 uh, to 13 and a half uh, thousand uh, Geekbench score. If you compare this, geek, let me put this Geekbench score to the side and let's get back to my old Mac, old Hackintosh that I had made. Uh, it was a uh, Core 2 Quad Q6600 and for that, as you can see, the Geekbench score that I got is 
5201 so a considerable improvement i7 is 11233 uh, actually i also have an imac that's a 24 inch imac 2009 model and that's uh, running a core 2 duo processor at 2.6 6 uh, gigahertz and for that i get a geekbench score of 3777 so as you can see uh, the hackintosh is pretty powerful and uh, i created this video using the guide at tonymaxx86.com and if you like to know how to make a hackintosh do let me know in the comment section and i'll make a video about that if you like this video please click on the like button given below that's it for now this is ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully i'm going to see you in my next video